Hey, this is Craig Shoemaker, new media evangelist for Infragistics, and I'm here today to continue the series we've been doing on the web dialog window control. We're going to be building a simple wizard application to show you how you have full access to all the controls that show up in a content pane of a web dialog window. So let's start with a demo. So we've got this link here. We're going to click on it to start the wizard. The first wizard pane will come up and you'll notice we have it set up as a modal dialog and we can't drag this around the screen or anything. It's, it's very much like what you'd expect from a wizard, They're only presenting what uh, we want people to, to interact with right up from the front. So I'm going to type my first name, click next, type my last name, click finish, and you'll see that we are able to print out my name on the screen based off of those, those wizard windows. All right, well, let me show you how it's done. So a little bit about the environment here. We're using Visual Studio 2008 targeting the .NET 3.5 framework, and we have NetAdvantage 2008 Volume 1 for 3.5 installed. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to create a new website. Again, targeting the 3.5 framework, and I'm just going to call this one Wizard. And as always, we're going to start with a script manager. And let's get a web dialog window on the page there. And you'll notice that the register control as well as the marker for control has been added. So I'm going to switch over to the design view and you'll see this, this dialog window pop up just showing, telling you that NetAdvantage is going to add in the appropriate styles. Let's go over to the properties window and let's fill out some of these properties here. So the first thing I want to do is give it some height and, and shape and all that. So let's make it um, 300 pixels wide and the height 100 pixels. Uh, make it 50 pixels from the left and 50 pixels from the top. Now the window state, I want this to start off hidden because we're going to use our link in order to show it. I want it to be a modal window. And I don't want to be able to move it because we're going to have a couple of these on the page and so as the next one comes up on top of it, um, I want to be hiding that. So now let's switch over to the source and add something into the content pane. This will be easy enough. We'll just do first name and a text box. And now that we've got that, what we need is a way to get everything going. So let's add in the link to start the wizard. For the href, we're just going to pass in uh, JavaScript void so that once our onClick function has run, it's not going to do anything else. And for the onClick, we're just going to say um, wizard start or start wizard. Okay. So now let's go in and implement the script for the function. And all we're going to do here is, it's really simple, is we're going to use the ASP.NET AJAX find function. Oops. And something I forgot to do is we're going to give this a better ID. We're just going to call this step one. So we're going to find step one. We're going to simply say show. All right, let's give this a test and see how it looks. So we have our start wizard link, click on it, 
and there we go. I can't move it around, and it is in its modal state. Perfect. We're getting awfully close. So the next thing we want to do is add the, the next piece of the, the wizard. So I'm just going to copy this whole control and stick it in here. We'll call this step two. And we'll ask for the last name. And change this to txt last name. We need a place to print up our labels, so We'll do that. We'll use string format in order to keep everything nice and clean. Why run it server isn't automatically put in for us, I don't know. <laughs> So we need just a few more things here to be done. So we have our first name. We're going to need a button right after this in order to switch over to the next step. I'm just going to we're just going to add a standard input button. That should be value. Say next and on click. We're just going to say advance to. And then we'll pass in the step name. That should work. And finally, what we're going to do is have a button here to finish everything off. This is going to be a server control because I'm going to implement some code behind in order to get what I need out of the controls. So now we just need to implement the advance to function. Just like this, and what we can do is basically just like we did before, we're going to do a find. We're going to pass in the step ID, and we're going to say show. And so finally, all we need to do is come over here. Um, we need to get to what? Text box, this should be a button. All right, so now when we go over to our content pane, we can double click on this and do the event handler. I need to go back, because I accessed the controls within the designer, this has now changed its um, the window state. So let's go back and then switch that back to hidden. So now that will start off as hidden, and then we can finally go into the code behind and implement the, the small bits of code that we need. So the first thing we're going to do is go to step one, and uh, we're going to say the window state uh, equals hidden, and do thing, same thing to step two. So that at the very end, it's going to hide both of those. I'm going to bring this down so that you can see it without it wrapping. And then the final thing that we need to do is do a string format, passing in the, the label text template that we have set up. And uh, then we're going to get the first name and the last name. Uh, one final thing that we need to do is we have this set up in order to be at first invisible. And then once we have some data, then we're going to make it visible. OK, let's give it a shot. So now we click on our link. The first name comes up. I can type in Craig. Click Next, come to the last name, Shoemaker. 
and it prints my name. So I hope what you're able to get out of this is that no matter what type of controls or what's put inside the content pane of your web dialog window, you have full access to it within the code behind and even within the JavaScript. Thanks a lot for checking out this screencast. If you have any questions about uh, the presentation here, please feel free to send it to cshoemaker at infragistics.com. If you have any support questions or anything about this control or any other controls from Infragistics, please go to infragistics.com slash get help. And finally, if you'd like to check out the documentation for our controls, please head on over to shrinkster.com slash x62. And also make sure to stay tuned to the website for more videos coming your way. Thanks a lot. Infragistics, powering the presentation layer. Infragistics.com.